Well, it's been nearly a week since a pipe bomb was found at the Ector County Courthouse. The bomb squad played a critical role in disarming it. As you can imagine, when it comes to explosives, it takes nerves of steel. News West 9's Francisco Soto has got to spend part of his day with the Midland Police Bomb Squad to find out how they train for these really tense situations. Francisco. Yeah, Crystal, I got to be at the location where officers set up scenarios, practice with the equipment, and overall get mentally prepared. And trust me, this is no easy task. So I would say this definitely looks like a bomb. If you see something, say something. Uh, typically, as soon as we arrive on scene, we're going to gather as much information as possible. There's usually uh, a PD officer there that has some information from us. We may interview the people at the residence or business where this package is at, ask them some questions about that. That is why training and being prepared is key. We train for 24 hours a month, so that's three days a month for us. Um, other than being a full-time police officer, come out here, we set up mock scenarios, we use all of our little buildings, we build um, devices for each other, bombs, incendiary devices, things that get seen around the country. Okay. So I decided to suit up and give the bomb squad gear a try. It feels like an overall. Yeah, right? It's designed to be as simple as possible, but as soon as you put on a 100-pound bomb suit, everything gets more difficult. So you've got to train all the time, get used to wearing all of the protective gear, uh, especially the big helmets, the heavy vests. Officers with the bomb squad believe technology plays a major role in their job. X-ray! So we got a new x-ray system called an SRB that allows us to do digital x-rays so we don't have to go back downrange to the package and pick up our x-ray panel and bring it back to the truck. This allows us to shoot multiple x-rays without ever having to go back near that package again. And time being a friend and an enemy through it all. We want to limit the amount of time we're near that device. We call it time on target. And we want as little time on target as possible. So we do a lot of training so we're efficient in the work that we do. And officers with the bomb squad advise the public to stay alert and report anything that looks suspicious to local authorities. Crystal. Thanks, Francisco.